Hey, what's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and welcome to News for iOS, a series where I cover all the latest and greatest news in regards to emulators and pretty much everything iOS. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about Emu for iOS, iRec, iEmulators, GBA for iOS 2.1, iOS 8, and the new iPhones. So many things to discuss, and I hope you all are ready. Let's begin. We begin with some awesome news. iEmulator is one of the biggest websites in distributing non-jailbroken applications and your favorite emulators is holding a beta. What this beta entails is that you'll be able to test applications before they're released to the general public. As you know, iEmulators is planning a huge 2.0 revamp in terms of design and applications. So to be one of the first to have the applications that they will be releasing, signing up for this beta and helping test them is one of the greatest things to do. To participate in the beta, you only have to follow three simple rules. Number one, follow iEmulators on Twitter. Number two, subscribe to Operation iDroid, the YouTube channel that you're watching right now, because as you know, I am a part of the iEmulators creators group. And the third one is to retweet a certain tweet that you'll see there. You can find all these rules in iEmulators.com as well as the link in the description below. I hope you guys are excited for this beta and that you follow all the rules to participate because if you do not, you will not be eligible for the beta. Anyways, on to our next bit of news. GBA for iOS 2.1 is looking to be a massive update to the already incredible GBA for iOS. As you can see, the developer Riley Tested has teased some of the features like this incredible change of color in Game Boy games. However, if you are a GBA for iOS user and you have not updated to 2.0.7, I highly recommend that you do so because if you do not, you will be unable to play GBA for iOS 2.0. And if you update to this, you'll see a nice little feature that will be coming soon, which is wireless linking that we hope to see in GBA for iOS 2.1. Continuing with the theme of GBA for iOS, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus came out today, the day that this video was released, and I made a video showcasing how amazing GBA for iOS is on an iPhone 6. On to some more unfortunate news. Emu for iOS.net's distribution certificate has been revoked, meaning that if you try to open the Emu for iOS store and subsequently all its applications, they will not open unless you apply the date trick like GBA for iOS. So, for those of you that don't know, the date trick is basically where you set your date back at least 24 hours and then you open the application and of course it will open. If you ever find your Emu for iOS store or any other applications from the store not opening, all you have to do is set your date back at least 24 hours and open it once and then you can set your date back to normal. This must be done every time your iDevice restarts. Speaking of iRec, it still has not received many updates in terms of fixing bugs on most devices, so it is still in beta and hopefully we will be receiving some updates in the future, however at the moment it is an extremely buggy application on most iDevices. I'm not sure if you've been living under a rock, but iOS 8 is out. If you are a fan of the latest iOS's, then I recommend that you pick this up by going to general software update and getting iOS 8.0 though it may be buggy on some devices that aren't older than the iPhone 4s so be warned thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed yet I definitely recommend you do to be notified whenever I upload a video I make videos on iOS things every Friday so if you'd like to be notified when I release those videos and be the first one to know what it's about hit that subscribe button thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation